Hello, my name is Gaurav. So we are continuing the testing tips series, and today's topic of discussion is uh, right. What's the skills required by a tester? Okay, so yeah, automation is one of them. So which is known by everyone, all of you. But what are the other things which matters? So let's see what testers have to say about it. So we'll cover this mind map. What are the skills required by testers and uh, all these are given by testers only uh, from this book called as 21 days 21 tips which is by the members of the test chat community all credits to all of these people i have just uh, summarized it when i was reading this 112 pages book so let's go point by point so critical thinking is one of the important skill uh, which is uh, recommended and it was given by dimpy and uh, if I just uh, quickly Google the definition of critical thinking for you, you will see that it's a way of analyzing the facts, right? So that you can come up to a judgment, right? The objective analysis and evaluation of a thing. So that is very important and how you can improve that skill because the question, this question comes, you can play some games, maybe it's Sudoku or finding the differences and by reading books, writing what you are doing daily, so these are a few things uh, which can increase your critical thinking, but it's a skill. And uh, now another one is finding root cause. So this is missing uh, many times in, I have seen in many situations, like when you ask, like people report problems, they get the solution, they retest it and tester sometime forget it, right? It's important to know that what caused it. So that next time you can just ask a question about that cause uh, so that you can, prevent the problem to come at all, right? So after critical thinking, it's root cause, finding root cause should should be there in you, right? You have you should have that ability of asking that or getting involved in finding the root cause or the bugs that you are reporting. Now, the next one comes is observation. This was uh, given by Pradeep, right? So at times we don't observe things, right? So uh, you, while doing testing, you sometimes are opening LinkedIn, doing so many other things that your observation power is not that good. I was looking at one of the bugs, which was, or an observation, which was reported by Ajay on LinkedIn a few, I think months back, where he was telling that in LinkedIn, there was a small difference in one of the, like there are three, four options come messages, notification. So you should have a good observation power. Uh, and you should take time to observe things by that you can improve it and you will find uh, you will be more vigilant you will find more things uh, right and yeah you should seek right you should know the things how things are working so for example you should not say i am testing a website which displays certain books from a library kind of right you should know how it's working what all things uh, that are involved in that what all are the components what is the architecture uh, so that you know it better, then you can test it better. You should have a positive attitude that's generic uh, anywhere. And you should pay attention to details. This is very important and related to that observation things. You will find many senior people, they will say that I am a person who pays attention to details. So this is very much uh, needed, right? Uh, and you should understand exceptions similar to RC kind of thing, right? And you should find solutions for them. Right, why they are coming and uh, what could be a solution for them. A tester should have a curious mindset. So all these are skills, right? Uh, uh, so sometimes you'll feel, okay, these are some of them are soft skills, but they are very much uh, required. And the reason also uh, is written like, if you have curious mindset, you will be able to find bugs and you have a desire of finding more and more things, not just, uh, I just come to office and execute test case, right? Uh, that is not, uh, and something which is expected from the testers, right? Or in any field also, right? Doing the same work. That's why people will feel bored also and they'll say, okay, I just execute cases. My job is to do a test execution, right? Testing is more than just execution. And yes, so this is an important point. I think it is from Bridges. So if I search for the word strategy, right? So let me show you how, like I was reading all this point and I created this mind map, right? So yeah, Bridges has given this. So what he is telling that for test strategy, many people comes in the various forums and they ask for a template, right? Because we do it for the sake of doing it. But uh, collaboration is an important skill and you should collaborate with all these people, developers, architects, business, product owners, and 
and make a test strategy together right all of them involved so that you get more knowledge it's not that you got the build now you have 3 weeks test it the way you want so the more you people uh, you, the more people that are involved they will give you insights they will tell you okay this areas we we were not able to test you can focus more over there or you are testing something where there could not be any problem we have just taken some library right so it's these are few examples right and yeah you should have patience so uh, i have seen this uh, many times right when we get the build at the last moment people will become unprofessional and they'll say what is this what is happening in this project why i get all the time yeah so you have to be professional and this is one of the things yeah we get late builds right in a three week sprint you get the build on the last days yeah you have to improve the situation at the same time you have to be patience it is recommended by one of the testers and yeah you should understand algorithms so not for the sake of uh, clearing the interviews where uh, there is a trend these days like many people are just asking algorithm no testing questions uh, which i not I, i don't agree with that but you should be able to understand algorithms right so that you can think in, in those areas you should know like for a, just an example like linear search or binary search you know that which one works what way so you can think uh, like that and this helps to solve complex problems as it is written and it's regardless of any role in the uh, industry right whether you are a tester or developer you should know these things communication is a very important factor which we'll cover shortly and how you report things right reporting is just not about telling numbers right suppose if i tell okay 80% is pass 20% is failing so if it is not supported by a story Uh, it it does not matter right if if 20% uh, problems are only in one feature i can maybe f- switch off that feature and still make the delivery happen right so there should be a supporting statements with that so that is also a skill not everybody is good at it so we should work on that uh, be a better reporter or storyteller right you should be able to uh, tell in a story way in an easier way uh this will also come in a way uh, in, in the next and then comes this 5w's and 1h so it's an easy way to remember this like in various situations you should ask these questions which will clarify assumptions or your doubts like who what why when where if you ask about the product who is using why is it's used or likewise right and that stands for how so you should keep all these things in mind right a good testers will have all this uh, like with the time if you will keep uh, these things in mind that will definitely help you yeah it is one of the important key factor now comes data analysis right so in interviews also it is asked like you have one day and you have five browsers to test like how you will test how you will prioritize so if you have done the data analysis earlier then you can tell this and you could be better in making the strategy or plans doing your testing for example in in your customer base what browser they are using maybe in that company only firefox is allowed to to the employees to be used like that's a recommended one right or maybe uh, like if it's a generic publicly applicable app you can check it out that right 90% of the people in a certain region are only using chrome so if you can test maximum of your scenarios on the chrome browser and few of them on the other browser based on the time and all right so so mail communication is important as earlier we were discussing reporting so apart from uh, reporting it should be well written crisp and clear and people should understand there should be a summary not very detailed Uh, paragraphs which people don't have time and they avoid such emails so that is also a skill you will see that some testers will write very very good emails right so that is also one of the important skill right and uh, you have to communicate based on the level for example if i am talking to someone who is a, a technical person so i can tell that okay suppose the login is failure right i can tell in this file or i see a problem in the logs and this is the message that i am seeing to management i can maybe report that the login is not working and executive may be more interested in the money part like a project is uh, going in loss or how much it is how is it going right so these are few points uh, I, i don't say that this is an exhaustive list this is based on the experience people have shared there could be more things to it which you can uh comment in the video and i would be happy to include those in my blog uh, as well as the 
github page right and you should write and speak make it short simple right so that people can understand it like uh, you can tell based on the context you should be able to tell the moral of the stories right instead of telling full stories i started with this and that so that a person can uh, make some decisions based on the information that you are giving and it it comes with practice right you can always get very very good at it right i was not preparing mind map earlier so th this i have recently learned and now i am trying to become better at it by seeing other people like rahul who creates lot of uh, good stuff around mind maps and he creates really good stuff okay and then comes communication right so that people can make that uh, decision you are telling them about risk also uh, risk analysis is one of the important skill uh, that testers should have it's not just about doing the test execution which uh, sometimes people think and thinks that testing is easy just uh, considering that test execution part which can be done by machines or some of the things so i'll cover all these topics in some other videos as well there is a lot of content to be covered from that book right and for this there is already a video like where the testers are headlights or driver of a vehicle uh, you can see that video it's just before this video in the playlist uh right so yeah and do suggest the things uh, that you find right we go in so many meetings and all and people sometimes don't give suggestion they keep sitting they know that okay every time retrospective will happen and no actions can be taken in some of the projects not always so do give your suggestion if people are not following it, uh, it it's okay don't stress too much yeah you do your side yeah and then comes one of the most important advice and skill um be technical right nothing is rocket science if you start learning things you can when you will see that you will not find that things are uh, very different or difficult if you know selenium and if you start doing apm right it's just that you you have not started it but when you see it you will find it's almost same mo most of the same things and uh, if you know technical part of it uh, you can have as we discussed earlier also better plans right you understand architecture you understand development practices and there is no excuse to it right you should learn it you are a technical person you are using a computer computer is a technical device and uh, you are dealing with other things also right you are using a bug management or project management tool all these things you are using right so all those things are technical don't think that uh, just doing automation is uh, technical right so if you are not doing test automation you should be technical right even if you are from a non tech background if you have done from chemical engineering there are people who have did it from various and they are very good uh, technical right so don't say that you are not technical you are and you have to be if you are not you should get into the technical details like right? start slow and then maybe you can grow no problem right you should know about development practices architecture so that you can have better conversation right you can you can be present in architectural meeting once you grow in your career right so uh, then you should be know about certain things it takes time and it's fine and you should ask questions that is one of the quality that is expected from testers they should ask uh, to avoid all the assumptions there is a video for assumptions uh, that is being done you should give suggestions right and you should be able to put across your ideas so these are some of the things which are suggested by testers i'll share this full mind map so that you can always refer it and check it out with skills are missing in you or if you feel that some skills are missed over here or i have not explained it correctly feel free to comment uh, i am happy to accept any suggestions that you would be giving and i'll put this on my blog and mind map and uh, if you are liking this content maybe you can uh, go to my channel and it's an easy way uh, to remember my channel is this link tree slash gaurav khurana and you'll find it and you can watch all these videos like best resource to learn testing uh, hope you like it see you in another video stay safe bye bye happy testing